Bagam. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I don't bust to Nigerians. UK Defense Minister meets Nigerian military chiefs. Bags ECOWAS decision on the J Republic crisis. Hey, they say they won't go war. They won't go fight for Niger. <laughs> That's all of them. They talk. France, US, UK, all of them. They won't go war for Niger. Make uh, those uh, uh, military junta return power to the hosted president, Mohamed Bazoum. And I know say July 26th, now they take over power from her. Okay? They can't talk many, many reasons why they do so. Now, the the chairman of ECOWAS is Nigerian president to Muhammad Buhari. All of them just they ring the bell of war, 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 war. They won't go war. Even to that extent, say President Muhammad Buhari Congo asks Nigerian Senate, say I beg, make them give him permission. No, he won't go invade Niger with a Nigerian military. Now those people come tell and say, you go hold on, no. <laughs> This matter not be as it is. See, I'm so. Hmm? You not go go that way. Because Niger, they are just like our neighbors. They are our brothers. And they not on us. They don't they shout. They don't they cry. They don't talk tired. They say invading Niger is just like invading the northern part of the country. Because about five northern states are sharing border with, uh, borders with Niger. You understand? So they are saying that this war... It's not the necessary. Say because Nigeria not get problem with Niger and all that. But the presidents don't want here. Hey, all of them just they say they won't invade Niger. Okay, make we will hear waiting this UK defense minister when don't meet Nigerian military chiefs. Don't tell them today what they won't do. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. James Kipe, a member of Parliament and the United Kingdom's Minister of State for the Armed Forces on Wednesday, visited Nigeria, where he met with Nigerians' military chiefs and top defense leaders in Abuja, Nigeria's capital. James, who's meeting with the Nigerian military chiefs, and leaders was to deepen defense cooperation between the UK and Nigeria and discuss the coup in Niger Republic. Also met with the president of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS Commission. James, during his visit, met with the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General. Lagbaja, the Minister of Defense, Abubakar Baduro, and the Minister of State for Defense, Bello Matawale, Channel's television reports. At the meeting, the UK Defense Minister reiterated the UK support for ECOWAS' ongoing diplomatic efforts to ensure a peaceful return to the democracy system in the Niger Republic by the junta who took over power from the elected president, Mohamed Bazoum, on July 26th. I am delighted to return to Nigeria for the third time in three years. The UK and the Nigerian Armed Forces have a long-standing partnership through which we continue to tackle violent extremism and other security threats in West Africa and the Gulf of Guinea. The UK supports ECOWAS in calling for the peaceful restoration of constitutional order and democracy in Niger, and we will work with both ECOWAS and our partners across West Africa to support them in that aim, James said. According to him, the UK recognized Nigerians' diplomatic mediation efforts to peacefully restore democracy in Niger through his membership of ECOWAS. He therefore commended, uh, condemned in the strongest terms the ongoing coup in Niger. He said, We stand with ECOWAS in condemnation of the illegal detention of President Mohamed Bazoum, his family and members of the government as well. 
as the unaccepted conditions under which they are being held and called for their immediate release. The ECOWAS has maintained a diplomatic approach to get the Niger coup leaders to restore constitutional power to the ousted president and after the Niger military leaders refused to add to the West African regional blocs one week deadline to relinquish power to President Bazoum, the ECOWAS special envoy led by the former Nigerian head of state, Adu Salami Abubakar, on Tuesday said that diplomacy won't fail to restore the democratically elected government of the deposed President Bazoum, who has been held hostage by the junta since the July coup. This is what the West wants. They want us to fight ourselves. African countries, I assure you, this is just for their personal interest. When my eyes opened to the tricks of the West, I decided to back Russia. UK is like Mojo. Okay. The West are happy having a switch as a defense minister. You can't leave Nigeria alone, I beg. They can't deceive us Africans anymore. They will be disappointed because we are not going to fight. UK should go ahead and fight Russia. Jagaban has restored the pride of Nigeria. Imagine the British military visiting Nigeria. Wow. We are blessed to have a such a visionary and experienced vibrant man as president. I am getting my PVC ready to vote for a second term. In 2027, we support him fully in this decision. Okay? We Easterners strongly support Jagaban and APC. APC is good for Nigeria and they can create a very great legacy, just like South Africa. ANC. After Jagaban in 2032, we will vote for Aero 5 for continuous level pro mass. Okay, guys. These are reactions from Nigerians. Let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.